go to the skate park. What is good YouTube? My name is George. Welcome to another episode of Senior Year. It is an absolutely perfect fall day outside. So we're gonna go get the shred on and I'm gonna tell you guys five unspoken skate park rules. This is gonna be a very fun video. I'm gonna try to be funny on purpose. We'll see how it goes. That part of the video will be at this time. Feel free to skip to that. But real quick, I wanna tell you guys something. I have been working very hard on Aero Skate Co. The most popular Aero Skate Co shirt to date is finally restocked. And there is a limited quantity of all sizes is small through extra large available right now on aeroskate.com they will not restock again mostly for the reason that the aeroskate co fall 2018 drop is also right around the corner i'll be telling you guys all about it And it was just such an impeccable fall evening. I couldn't get myself to film the skit I had planned. Something about that crispiness in the air just unleashes my desire and love for skateboarding. I just had to catch a session. But I'm gonna wake up early tomorrow and talk about the five unspoken skate park rules. Here we go. Unspoken rule number one. This one actually poses a danger to other skaters. The rule is, I shall not wax the ledge without asking the express permission of the other skaters at the skate park. Firstly, wax tends to be unnecessary, but second, Secondly, if people are skating a ledge or a rail and you wax it, you make it more slippery. This can be especially dangerous if you wax something without telling anybody because they will expect a certain amount of resistance but just completely slip out and potentially injure themselves. So you don't want to be that guy waxing everything at the skate park. Ooh, a ledge. Yo, bro, I think it's good. I don't think it needs any more wax. It's sliding fine. Through the window, the window. Damn, you're not even gonna skate it? I'm definitely gonna slip out and die, but. Guess I'm skating the quarter pipe. Bro, really, the quarter pipe too? Bruh. Unspoken rule number two. Thy may continue flowing the skate park so long as one is trying new tricks throughout their line. If you're doing easy tricks that you know how to do over and over again, you're not improving. It's boring for everyone to watch and people want to skate as well. So it's important to, as you're skating around the park, try different tricks in your line, which guarantees that you're progressing and trying new things. And also you won't literally take forever to finish your turn. And it keeps it nice and fair for everyone. Nice one. Yeah. Bruh. Unspoken rule number three. This one involves playing games of skate. One must participate in the game away from the obstacles in which other skaters are using. This might seem obvious, but I see this happening all the time. You play a game of skate like right in front of a ledge. This prevents other skaters from actually skating the obstacles. Find a flat ground area away from the obstacles where you won't double the chaos of the skate park by playing skate right in the middle of it. It's just basically common courtesy. Yo, George, you trying to play skate? Yo, I'm down. Let's get it. I must warn you. I'm a savage. Uh, where are you trying to play? Uh, how about right here? You think people might be skating now? Like, maybe we should go over there. There's like nobody there. Nah, I think here is good. Are you okay? Bruh. Rule number four, and I'm curious if you guys agree with me on this one. Once a turn order is developed, meaning the order in which skaters take their turns, one must not break this ritual. So I feel like when you're at the skate park, there always naturally develops an order of people taking their turns. People really get into this order. It becomes like part of the skate ritual. To go out of this order is to potentially just throw off everyone's mojo. <laughs> I am uncomfortable. Maintain that turn order. Keep everyone's flow going. I find this is especially the case when you and the homies are getting buck. You gotta keep that turn order. It's like something spiritual about it. All right, man, you got this right here. I got your back. 
Yo, I got your back, I got your back. Skirt. Bruh. Last, we have made it to the all important rule number five. So this one relates to rule number four. I must not sneak another skater unless the other skater is on their phone. Along with this rule is if you're on your phone, you can't get mad if you get snaked. It's just good courtesy to not snake anyone. So that means let people have their turn. Don't cut in front of people. Small scooter kids with limited spatial awareness tend to be the ones who break this rule. And it's like, okay, if you're like decently grown up, you should be respectful enough to know that everyone needs to take their turn. And also the skate park is a fast paced, high energy environment. If you're ever on your phone, that gives somebody the right to skip your turn. Bitch, I'm a cow. Bitch, I'm a cow. Yo, Tiny how are you trying to go? It's your turn. Hey, I just met you. Yo. My milkshake brings all the boys to the yard and they're like, it's better than your Yo, it was my turn. Bruh. Oh my god. This is the first skit I've ever done. I'm very curious what the feedback is gonna be on this video. Let me know what you thought. It was exceedingly challenging for me to make this video. I pulled up to the skate park just hoping so bad that it would be completely empty so I could do this on my own. It was filled with little kids and parents. This kid's got my skateboard. I debated turning back, but I was like, you know what, it. I'm just gonna do it. And I believe deep inside that it's good to break your comfort zone, but I know it's so hard and I'm glad I did today. Honestly, like talking to the camera in front of everyone led to conversations with both some little skater kids and scooter kids and their moms. What time it is, we don't know how to spell it. 55,000? Yeah. Nice. I'm filming a skit right now. Oh, you are? For yeah. What? For YouTube. Oh, yeah. Give me shout out or channel? Sure. I ended up having a great time filming this video. Hoping it comes out good. I know my acting skills are not really on point. Practice makes perfect, and I uh, didn't hold myself back today. So, hell yeah. My gosh, I feel fantastic. It's the power of skateboarding and the power of fall weather. It unleashes you. And yeah, those are five unspoken skate park rules. I think they're all valid rules, although if you mess up the other rules, like, it's literally okay. Like, I don't want this video to be like, you should be afraid of the skate parks. In fact, that's always just the opposite sentiment of what I want to Portray. No reason for skateboarding to be so intimidating. I got a lot of homework. A spaghetti. I think the video might be over. <laughs> Still a hundred kids here and their moms. <laughs> this is so embarrassing. I must warn you, I'm a savage. <laughs> I gotta get the tiny hat in it. I'm acting. <laughs> Tiny hat life. I'm trying to talk in like low key Shakespeare. Anyway, I should be an actor. <laughs> <coughs> oh my god, he's dead.